Hey guys, Complicated Beauty CEO here, and today I am um, straightening my hair. Um, so I just decided that I would come and show you how I straighten my hair. Put those away. <laughs> so I thought I'd come and show you how I straighten my hair because, as you can see, my hair is this is my hair blow dried, right? So it still has a lot of wave and curl to it. So the way I kind of have to straighten my hair by default um, is good old press and curl. Um, you know, with the the Royal Crown pressing pressing oil. So you know, just section off a piece and put the pressing oil through my hair like this because this is literally the only way my hair will get straightened. Um, I have heard about about the um was it brazilian keratin treatment keratin treatment but that's chemical so and i definitely did not grow my hair out to put more chemical on it so as you can see i've tried to go straight through my hair is extremely curly and it's already been detangled and everything so this is why a flat iron by itself is not going to get it because if I flat iron the hair by itself, it will not go through the waves. It'll just crunch them down and as soon as I walk outside, they'll be right back up. So for my hair, um, this is a electric um, flat iron. It is all the way up to 10. Yes, I know a lot of y'all are like about to, you know, pass out because you're thinking heat damage but literally for my hair this is what it takes and for my hair it doesn't cause heat damage it never has um, I was actually natural up until I was 17 and this is how I would have to press my hair now I'm going back through it with the flat iron because the flat iron um, does give a better curl than the curling irons I currently have because all my good curling irons are I gave them to my mom because she still perms her hair so she has them so my flat iron it gets the job done because I don't want a big curl right now the curl that I have at the back of my head if you can y'all see right now that curl seems it's too much, but once I wrap it and all that other good stuff, it will, you know, die down. So, boom. That's how I have to straighten my hair. And otherwise, like, I'll do this little piece right here with just the flat iron. Just so you can see the difference. Because my hair is, like, ridiculous. It does, unless it has, like... It has to have a comb for it to get straight. So, in trying to use this comb, can you see what happened? Yeah, that wasn't going to work with my flat iron. Because I've seen a lot of videos where people, you know, they put their comb and then take their flat iron. Like, so. Yeah, I can't do it. But, you you know, look at other naturals that have straightened their hair and they use, a lot of them use that technique. But I just do it the good old fashioned way. Okay. So, you see I've done... I don't know if you can see the difference. But I can definitely see the difference. Because with this piece as opposed to this piece. This one is heavier. Um, because, I don't know, it's, it does get my hair straighter. I don't know if you can tell the difference. But I definitely can, and when I walk outside, everyone would be able to see the difference, and we don't want that. The whole point of straight hair is for it to be straight, and this is how I have always done it. Um, I would not recommend, if you don't know what heat setting your hair can take, I would not recommend putting it all the way up to 10. I put mine on 10 because I know my hair can take it. And I had, um, while I was blow drying my hair, I did use um, heat protectant as well as Beyond the Zone Straight Shot. Um, let me get those down. Beyond the Zone Straight Shot and the Smooth and Shine um, 
poofy eraser heat protectant. Um, those why for me strip um, blow drying my hair to protect it, and then I did put a little bit more in right before I actually started to um, press my hair out. So I will show you the end result when I get done. So see you then. Okay, guys. So I'm back, and I am almost done with my hair. Um, since I am at the top of my head now, um, I did lower the heat setting for the, um, the, uh, what's it called, pressing comb, down to a, um, seven, because I've noticed over the years, just as my, um, bangs, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but my bang area is not as curly as the rest of my hair. Like this area, like my crown area, is not as curly as the rest of my hair. So I do turn the heat down to avoid heat damage. Um, not that, I don't, I've never really experienced heat damage like that. So, but I mean, that's a good thing. But I do have to keep in mind that... For this section of my hair, I do have to turn the heat down so that I don't experience heat damage. And this took me maybe about an hour and a half to go through and straighten my hair because, like I said, my hair is, it is what it is. It's, I don't know if anybody else has the same troubles that I have, but this is how I know how to press my hair I mean how to straighten my hair by pressing it um, and this has always worked for me my hair does revert and we'll see that um, probably within the next week or two depending on how long this lasts it can last up to two weeks but I'm not sure that I'll keep it in that long depending on what the weather does because okay so I finished finally and this is the end result for today um, it's a little bit stiff right now I mean it does have some movement but it doesn't go back into place like I want it to because it still has a lot of um, the grease in it so I'm gonna wrap my hair and then hopefully by tomorrow it'll have a little bit more movement um, but I am pleased with the result and I hope that it stays because I really, really missed having my hair straight sometimes. So, that is all. Carry on. Come to Katie Beauty CEO. And I'm out of here.